This is part 108 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to show or hide columns dynamically of a jQuery data table. Let me explain what I mean. Notice here, just above this table, we have all the columns of this data table listed. Now, if I click on the ID column link here, if that column is already visible in the data table, we want to hide it. If it's already hidden, then we want to display it. So we want to control the visibility of these columns in this data table using these links on the top. So let's see how to achieve this. The first step here is to get those links on the page. So let's flip to Visual Studio. This is the same example that we worked with in the previous video session. So I strongly encourage you to watch the previous video before proceeding with this video. So now we want those links just above this data table, right? So that data table is present inside the div element. So just above that div element, I'm going to include an anchor element and I'm going to set a class. So I'm going to call it show hide column. This CSS class is not defined yet. We'll define that in just a bit. And I'm also going to make use of data dash attributes. So data dash, I'm going to set column index and I'm going to set that to zero because this will be the link for ID column and then we want a dash. Similarly, we want another hyperlink for first name. So the column name is going to be first name and index value is going to be one. So if you look at these table headers here, notice ID is the first one. So its index position is zero. First name is one, last name is two, so on and so forth. Okay, so here we have the links for ID first name. Similarly, we need uh, those link elements for gender, job title, etc. In the interest of time, I have already typed the required HTML. So let's copy that from this notepad and paste them right there. Okay, so we have the anchor elements for all our columns and the column index matches with their respective index position, right? All right, so let's go ahead and save these changes and reload our page. So we should get those links on the top. So we have those links. At the moment, they are not clickable hyperlinks. That's basically because we have not set the href attribute. Okay, another thing is we want that text show slash hide columns. And let's actually bold that. All right, and we have not defined this show height column class yet. So let's go ahead and define that. So within our head section, I'm going to include a section for style and I'm going to specify this class show height column. Now let's save these changes as is and reload this page. And look at this at the moment, you know, when I have the mouse over any of these links, look at that, it's not changing to hand symbol. We want that to change to hand symbol. So I'm going to specify the cursor style within our show hide CSS class. So I'm going to set that to pointer and I'm also going to change the color to blue. Okay, so let's save our changes, reload this page. Now they should be clickable hyperlinks. And just to get some padding between those links and this data table, I'm going to wrap all of those anchor elements inside a div element and set padding on that. So let's include a div element. Let's move this closing div right here. And I'm going to set the style attribute. Let's set padding to five pixels. And on the left hand side, we don't want any padding, so I'm going to set padding left to zero pixels. All right, so let's save those changes, reload our page. So now we got some padding, you know, on the top, bottom, and on the right hand side, but on the left hand side, padding is zero pixels. So it starts exactly at the place where the bottom of this table starts. Okay, all right. Now look at this when I have the mouse over these are like clickable links. Now when I click on ID column, if that column is already visible, we want to hide it. If it's not visible, we want to make it visible. So let's see how to control the visibility of these columns using these links. So this is the HTML markup that's required. And now we have to write some jQuery code. 
so here we have this success callback function so the function starts right here and its closing brace is right here so just before that closing brace I'm going to use a jQuery selector and find all those anchor elements and if you look at those anchor elements all of them have this class show height column so I'm going to use a class selector to find all these anchor elements so let's find those anchor elements using the jQuery class selector so this should give us all those anchor elements and I'm going to wire up click event handler so we want to wire up click event handler so when the click event is triggered on any of those link elements this is the function that gets called so what do we want to do at that point now when I click on any of these links so if I click on ID link here and if you look at that ID link element it has got data dash column index attribute and that contains its index position value right so we want to read that and using that index value we are going to retrieve the respective column from the data table and then control its visibility okay so what I'm going to do is first we need to retrieve the table column that we are interested in the one that we want to toggle its visibility so I'm going to call this table column equals and from our previous video session if you remember you know we have this variable right here data table instance which holds a reference to our data table so I'm going to use that data table instance variable and that has got column function which is going to return us the column that we are interested in now to get the column we have to specify the column index okay so for if you need ID column then its column index is 0 so if you pass 0 it's going to return that ID column if you pass 1 then it's going to return the first name column okay now depending on which column the end user has clicked on okay we are going to retrieve its column index using this data dash column index attribute so that's the attribute we want to read so here I'm going to use dollar this so what is this referring to here this refers to the hyperlink element on which you have clicked because we are within the context of the click event handler of that hyperlink element so dollar this dot I'm going to use the ATTR function and ask for data dash column index attribute value so that is going to return us the respective hyperlink um, index value and we are passing that to the column function which is going to return us the column from the data table and we are storing that in this variable now using that we can control its visibility so table column dot I'm going to use visible function and I'm actually going to pass not of table visible so this is going to give us the current visibility if it's visible then we are applying the not operator so it will turn it off if it is not visible then it's going to make it visible so let's save all these changes reload our page now look at this ID column at the moment is visible when I click on that it is invisible now when I click on it again look at that its visibility is toggled similarly for example if we take gender look at that gender is gone I click on it again it becomes visible all right so here we have the HTML markup and CSS and here the jQuery code thank you for listening and have a great day